What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. It's been uh, quite a while. It's been like a month since my last video, but we are here today with my boy Mark and his friend Z. You guys might actually know him if you follow his channel. He actually has a channel. He has an S2000, so we actually comment a lot on each other's videos. But if you guys follow him, you might know him. Uh, I'll put a link down to his channel in the description below. Hell yeah! But today good. we are in his warehouse because uh, he is kind enough to let us use his space so that we can install some seat bracket recliners. So I know this doesn't lo really look like much, it just looks like a piece of metal. But anyways, the seats here are really, really upright. And when I'm in the seat wearing a helmet, uh, it's a little uncomfortable. We're gonna be installing the brackets here, which should hopefully tilt the seat back a little bit. That way, when I'm at autocross or on the track, it'll be uh, it'll be a much more comfortable and nice to see. So, we're gonna do that, and then we might even install my track decals that I just got. And then I think uh, Z has some stuff to do on his car, so we might check out that stuff too. But uh, yeah, let's get started. Let's get uh, let's uh, yeah, let's try to install these things, and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Like I like to say half an hour, but chances are probably gonna take two hours. So let's get started. All right, guys. So Mark is helping me out here. Oh yeah, that's that's it. Cool. So we have a eight millimeter uh, Allen key on the back and a sixteen millimeter socket on the front. And we're basically gonna unbolt the first part. <laughs> All right, guys. So we finally got this off. I'm gonna for for those of you who are gonna try, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys right now. It has some factory Loctite on it. So it's gonna be pretty tough. So what I recommend is basically get your Allen key and kind of like wrap it in microfiber and just like anchor it against the floor and then just work this slowly. So once that's done, you can take this out and then now we have to take this bolt out and then now we do, now we do the other side. So now both bolts are out, we do the other side. Okay, so finally got these bolts out. These are a pain in the ass. But now the seat kind of fully removes back and forth. So we're gonna lift it now just to make this a little bit easier. Can, uh, go like here. So now I take my bracket and I believe it sits like this. Or is it like this? So it goes like this, this part in here, and this part in here. And I believe I use the new bolts that they supplied on the bottom and odium bolts here. So yeah, let's try to get those installed. Alright guys, it's finally all done. If you can see, let's compare. This is leaning back a little bit more on the passenger side. It was a pain. So let me tell you this much. So this bracket here really needs to be squeezed in. It's a really tight fit, but that's actually a really good thing. That'll kind of help keep this in place. You will also need to move the seat up a little bit because now that it leaned back more, you can't scoot back quite as far. But for those of you who are tall, it actually creates a little bit more legroom. It's way more comfortable. That was all that honestly took like three hours because we don't really have the right tools. But uh, yeah, if you want to attempt it, it's a really good mod. Uh, when I get home later, I will show you guys what it looks like with and without the helmet on. It'll help a lot. So that's basically it for now. I think we're gonna go get some food because I, I owe my boy Mark lunch because he did a lot of the heavy work because I'm a weakling. <laughs> but yeah, man. so uh, yeah, so we're gonna do that. And then when I get home, I'll show you guys what it looks like with the helmet. All right guys, so it's actually the next day. We got home a little bit later and than I expected and then I had some errands to do. So I wasn't able to finish this up yesterday. So anyways, we're gonna take a look at the seat recliner brackets today. And I'll show you guys what it looks like, um, I mean, compared to the passenger side, uh, what it kind of looks like. So as you guys can see before, comparatively, the, the seat is, well, it's a little bit more forward because you can't put it back as much, but it is more reclined than the passenger side. And it was kind of hard to get like the proper angle. But also, uh, you can definitely see that it's it's up 
about maybe an inch or so uh, lifting from the front so definitely a big 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 uh, change now inside the car it's really interesting because you can kind of see that this is it almost looks lower now like I have this in the lowest setting right can't go down any lower but if I look over on the passenger side it's definitely lower and I definitely noticed that I am leaning back a little bit more which is really really cool and I'm getting a little bit more support on this side of my legs so I'm a pretty tall guy and so with the seat more flat and especially on long drives you don't get really much support here and sometimes this part of your leg starts to get a little bit sore but with the recliner bracket I definitely don't have that problem so yeah, let me go ahead and put my helmet on and I'll show you guys what it looks like with me. Alright guys, so you can immediately see that it's a little bit more reclined. Now, nice thing is, so normally with the seat a little bit more up, I'd be sitting like this, right, even with my back fully against it. And the issue that we were having, and this is Really pretty common for people with the lightweight bucket seats is that if you're wearing a helmet because of the, uh, the back here, if you try to sit all the way back, you know, kind of looking down a little bit. So, with this, because now I'm kind of looking upwards, I put my helmet on, sit all the way back, I should tilt my head a little bit forward. So I'm going to put on my helmet and then we'll see what it looks like. Alright, so I have my helmet on, and yeah, this is uh, perfect. So I can sit all the way back, put my head up against the seat, and I'm still looking straight. Definitely don't have any more of the uh, looking down issues, because, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to try to get in on the other side, show you guys what I'm talking about. So this right now, I can, I can see perfectly straight, even with my head all the way back against the seat, which is really, really nice. Alright, so I'm here in the passenger side, and I put my head all the way back, and you're kind of looking down. If I want to look up, I need to train my neck kind of in order to look up but then my back and my shoulders are not up against the seat. So if I put my back and shoulders up against the seat I'm looking down. So very very different compared to what this is. So yeah as you can see a pretty pretty big difference. Um, yeah I'm really glad I did this mod but I'm going to be perfectly honest if you're going to try to do this yourself give yourself a, bit, a good bit of time and if you are a weak person like me uh, it's going to be pretty, be pretty tough. There's a good amount of Loctite that's on the uh, factory bolts. So you're really going to work past that. But yeah, just, just for future reference for, for people, if you want to try this yourself, give yourself a good amount of time. It took us about three hours and that's me and my, my buddy Mark helping me. So that, that definitely took some time and quite a bit of elbow grease. I'd say the, the bolts that were actually the hardest I do ones on the inside because if you're not very limber or if you're a bigger person, getting through the seat into the footwell is kind of a pain and that really kind of like, you know, your ribs start hurting because you're working at a weird angle. So if you get, if you can get someone who has a lift, who can lift the car up, get in that way, it'll, it'll probably be a lot easier. So like shops can do it a lot easier. Uh, car was on the ground for us, so it was a little difficult. But other than that, somewhat of a decent install, uh, but really good mount, you know? Uh, I think it's a really helpful mod. I'm actually pretty excited to see how this is gonna feel at my next event. I'm really, really hoping that my next event's gonna be a track day, what we'll see. Uh, I don't have any autocrosses planned coming up, so we'll see. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope it was informative, and uh, yeah, see you guys on the next one.